Hi guys, did you know that the iconic Nike logo was designed by a student for $35? This simple mark has grown to be a symbol of excellence and determination. Welcome to the AAO Podcast, where we bring you a story of very amazing people who has been able to achieve some level of success in their various field. And today is no exception. I have a very wonderful guest here with me in the studio. His name is Mr. Daniel Okafo. Mr. Leonard. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Daniel Okafo. How are you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah. Such a pleasure to have you here on the podcast. Thank you. Yeah. Good to be here, really. <laughs> yeah, so, so, Mr. Yeah. Daniel, would you tell us about yourself and the work you do so that our guests get to know you? All right. Thank you for having me, Elonia. Yeah. Okay. So, my name is Okafo Daniel. Um, let me just say, I have a flair to see people um, grow into more high advanced version yeah. of themselves, right? Yeah. It just comes with me naturally. Yeah. And it has the role of reflecting on everything that I do. Wow. My companies, what I founded, it revolves around that. Yeah. Okay, so let me start by talking about um, the Reader's Club, Furnaces. Wow. Yeah, okay. Furnaces. So, you see, Africa, as you know, is a continent that mm. has a majority of third world nations. Wow. Right? Developing countries yeah. and those who are still yet to be developed, actually. Yeah. And when it comes to nations um, with high poverty rates, yeah. continent in Africa ranks number one. Yeah. And over time, there's been this, you know, I've received so many aids than any other continent. So many aids, yeah. philanthropy, yeah. and all that, right? Apparently. But things are not getting better. better yet as we hope to see it to mm. be. Yeah. And I've come to realize mm. that, you see, you really advance a nation, not just by giving them aids, yeah. but by advancing their minds. Yeah, wow. This popular dish, I said, even though I don't my African man. Put it put in the book. <laughs> it's, it's so sad. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> very still, sad. It's still that up to now. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't read. Honestly. And social media is not helping at all. Yeah, it's, it's getting worse. It's getting worse, right? Yeah. Low lifespan or attention. Yeah. So I saw that if people would get to read, yeah. they'll become better. Because I myself mm. is a witness to that. Yeah. And I'm like, let's start a club where we get young minds to read. Right, and when they read, they now become you know more superior version of themselves. Yeah. So that's moved the club. That's the last club. Yeah, we are currently over um five thousand online members. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's now. just so amazing yeah. how the club has <laughs> evolved over time. And yes, by the way, I'm a product sure. of that club. Yeah, <laughs> my reading sparked up when when I wow. joined that club. You know, wow. there's at the time when when when. When I joined, we're mm -hmm. having book for the month where we really yeah. give our review and all that. And that really helped me. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, honestly. Well, good, good to hear that. Good yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Then Brand Oxel Media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the post COVID era, uh -huh. right, has changed the whole oh, lot of things. Yeah. Before then, people used to hear that um, the world is going digital. Yeah. Let's try to catch up. Yeah. But right now, the world has gone digital. Yeah. But it keeps getting more digitalized. Mm -hmm. And the best we can do is just to just catch up with how far the world is going digitally. Mm -hmm. And so many brands are yet to really understand the impact of the new digital age. Mm -hmm. As you're trying to apply the traditional method of doing business, right? Of doing stuff. Mm. So the post-COVID era, yeah. and that is a whole lot of drag back, mm. all right? So many brands, jobs, and yeah. business have been taken out yeah. due to this, yeah. okay? So what we do at Brand Excel is that we try to help brands, right? Corporate brands, personal brands, all right? Mm. Non-profits to really leverage the online space mm. to achieve their goals and objectives, whether it's in sales, brand awareness, right? Whatever it is, we are mm. here to help them to do that. Oh. Still boils down to helping brands to uh, maximize their full potential, mm. right, in yeah. the marketplace. Yeah. So that's what I do. Wow, that's very beautiful. And I must acknowledge, I'm really inspired by what you've done with Phronesis and mm. um, with Brand Excel. And that leads me to my next question, which is about personal development. Mm. There's this saying that says, and in the animal kingdom, there are, there are things that constitute strengths to the mm. animal. For example, mm. the lion has a claw and has his teeth, right? He has an advantage of speed. The, 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 the cheetah 
has an advantage as he can run. So yes, when there's fast. danger, he yeah. can pick up, right? So, boy, men, we, we are really not the strongest. We are fragile. If you keep me and a lion <laughs> in a place together, chances yeah. are that I will get devoured and yeah. within seconds, just minutes yeah, with that exactly. lion. So our mind is one of our major advantage of man. And it's just mm. so unfortunate that people have place where they store pr- things they consider valuables like car parks jewelry box but the mind which constitutes a major advantage to the success and growth of any individual and determines the quality of people's life in this part of the world is very ignored and i've seen people who say oh i want leonard i want to start a business leonard i want to start this i want to start this and this person talking about starting something is if you go into conversation with that person and you begin and the begins person begins to speak you just see the gaps in their understanding and all that. So that brings me to the subject of personal development. Readers are leaders and you've done phenomenal work and very measurable impact with Florence's leader, inculcating passion for reading and helping people grow and become better. Is it possible in our world today to achieve any level of success or do you even know anybody who has done great things without reading, without personal development? That's a very, 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 Amazing question. All so, right. I remember when I was still in school back yeah. then, you know, in Abuja. Yeah. And I was reading a book. So one of my <laughs> about two of my classmates came yeah, yeah. and they were like, ah, this guy, <laughs> you know, why the ones those are reading in school is not enough for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah reading book, right? again. <laughs> so we now had a short argument. Yeah. And they were trying to prove that people have been successful without reading. Hmm. And I thought of my dad. Wow. My dad is a successful businessman. Yeah. Uh, he don't read. Wow. He don't read books as many books to be. Mm. So what's the point, right? Is it important to read? Yeah. Now, it, the truth is that there are chances of you being successful, mm. especially in the old age, mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Without reading. Reading, yeah. But it's not just reading. Don't forget that reading is just a tool. The main point here is knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. There is no level of success anyone can acquire mm, without no knowledge. knowledge yeah. It can come through reading. It can come through apprenticeship. Mm. It can come through mentorship. Yeah. It can come through experience. Yeah. But the fact is that knowledge is a necessary ingredient for any form of growth or success. So my dad, mm. even though he didn't um, complete school as he should, all right, mm, as yeah. an Igbo businessman, yeah. but the tool of apprenticeship, yeah. right, where you go to serve, let's call it um, mentorship in our own world, right? That's like boy, boy. Boy, which boy, was, boy, thank you very much. <laughs> boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So which was, was predominant in that time. In that time, yeah. but it's still the same process of getting knowledge, mm. right? Now, in our time, we get knowledge by reading. Reading is one of the fastest and best way to get knowledge. Because yeah. when you read, you capture the author's experience yeah. into yours. Yeah. And that is powerful. Yeah. Because what took these authors 35 years, 45 years to mm. acquire, yeah. right? By just reading, you get that knowledge. I don't have to go through the same route that, that they go through to mm. get. Mm. So when it comes to personal development is that we rise and fall to the level yeah. of our knowledge. Mm. We rise and fall to the level of our knowledge. Yeah. Okay. You can't go far beyond your knowledge. Mm. So people make so much attempts trying to do things externally. Mm. They probably apply for jobs, go to school mm. and do all that. Yeah. But they are forgetting the part of personal mm-hmm. development mm-hmm. Yeah. because the biggest form of investment yeah. is the investment in yourself. Mm-hmm. Ah. Wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah because mm-hmm. you see, when you know better, I believe you can do, you will Definitely. do better. When you know better, knowledge. you will take decisions and action from the standpoint of knowledge, right? And it will reflect obviously your results. So, but many people want to take action without knowledge. knowledge and you see people say oh i've tried everything it did not work i've done this i feel i've <laughs> done this i feel but okay who mentored you have you learned from the people who are succeeding in that area before you said you are failing so 
so so so personal development is really really a very serious issue See, daniel in what you said yeah experience is not the best teacher yeah right as we contrary learned. to popular beliefs <laughs> yeah. experience is not the best teacher yeah right there's so much you will learn from experience yeah right but you can have experience and still not get the results mm. experience is just that part is is that teacher that <laughs> mm. you know it, when you have tried when you have refused to learn yeah it now comes and then give you lessons with bruises yeah Okay, so why is very important that we get experience yeah. is that we don't have to go through the same route yeah. that others have gone through. Yeah. Knowledge yeah. is very vital. Very, very so true. you don't have to wait to have all the experience. In fact, there are certain lessons that your lifetime is not enough to have. To you, get. Yeah. you don't even have the exposed job, the network to learn those lessons. Yeah. But when you learn to leverage on people's, people's experience, through yeah. reading, knowledge, yeah. journey that will take you 50 years will take you three months. Mm. Mm. Is, is that serious? Yeah. And just how powerful that just by reading and acquiring knowledge, you can be in a very remote village somewhere and literally tra- your mind begin to travel global. And literally you begin to notice that with time, you begin to get uncomfortable and the reality around you would not permit somebody with that level of knowledge and understanding to remain at that level. Your external environment begins to change. You begin to notice that you begin, you become uncomfortable. That people begin to treat you in a certain way. People begin to life circumstances and situation begin to um, find itself in a way that it's more favorable. And you begin to notice that from that one room, you see yourself in in a in a three bedroom flat <laughs> like that <laughs> and like that. It's just how powerful that transformation is. See, these things are, are not stories, actually. Yeah. These things are, they are real life principles. Mm, yeah. It's happened to me as well. Yeah. Okay. When you begin to go for knowledge, yeah. what you do is that, right, you yeah. compress the experiences of yeah. others, the environment yeah. into your environment. Like you yeah. said, someone staying in a remote village yeah. that exposes his mind to knowledge, knowledge right? Yeah. What has he done? He has changed his environment. Mm. So physically, he's in a village. Yeah. Physically, he's in a, um, Studio apartment yeah. in a one bedroom flat. Yeah. Physically, he's living in a face me, I slap you environment. Slap right? <laughs> yeah. But he has changed his environment mm. through knowledge. Mm. And in a short while, not even a long while, in a short while, mm. his mind will travel to that environment, yeah. come back and take his body <laughs> to, to that to same that place. place. And he lives it. It's a law. Yeah. It's happened to me a lot. Wow. It's the story of my life. I want wow. to go through that but yeah. that is it once you feed your mind with the necessary knowledge you take your mind out yeah you change your environment already yeah. first in your mind right. yeah then your physical environment is just a reaction yeah. or a byproduct of, of the change your mind has gone through, gone through in terms of environment and i think that is just the summary of what personal development is to be all about yeah so daniel i believe probably there's someone listening and the person is saying don't ever think Probably if I had known this, I would have known better. But I want to start this journey now. Probably I, I, I'm, a, I'm a baker. Probably I want to be a public speaker. Probably I want to be an artist. Glo- to be, I want to be recognized globally. I've done everything. It's not working. I'm struggling, living from hand to mouth and all that. And now I want to focus on personal development to change my story. Can you give us like a roadmap to- for that person can you like give us a process okay how this person can begin that journey of transformation and growth to begin to see that change all right thank you for that um okay i'm a spiritual person yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay uh my roots is from god actually yeah okay so here is it just like my small would always say one of my mentors yeah um rest me in peace yeah is you see god is our creator mm. okay and every creator has a a manual yeah that has been laid out mm. for the best use of a product mm. okay the first step is to go to god and ask god for the blueprints of your life mm. because god has a plan for everyone mm. a glorious plan yeah Okay, and when you have done that, you see how the universe will start responding to that prayer. Mm. Secondly, knowledge. Mm. You see, when I say people should read, it's not just 
a cliche, right? Yeah. Knowledge. I can't overemphasize the power of knowledge. Mm. If I miss anyone here that is in this situation, the first thing I tell them, go and read a book. Mm. Get books to read. Mm. Books on mindset. That's the first part that will mm. change your mindset. Books that make you see that there are possibilities beyond what you can think. Yeah. Because the first stage to any growth or transformation is mm. first the mental aspect. Mm. And to do that is read books, right? Change your environment, get friends, get mentors. Mm. There's so much. But start with reading. Start reading. Wow. So you've heard from Daniel that every creator has a manual mm. that guides the intent for what that product was meant for. Just like all of us, our creator, before creating us, has a manual. He was not scratching his head thinking, you oh, know, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> start that purpose of discovering, going to God and say, God, why am I here? And finding that. Then the next thing you should go for is knowledge through reading, through structured mentorship, but by all means, you could start by reading and with time and consistency, you begin to see that everything begins to change. Then it is very beautiful. So um, I think we'll, I'll move to our next question now, which is branding. Uh, branding. <laughs> so to me, you are one of, you, you, are, you are truly one of, you are, you are one of a kind in that field, honestly, you know, when it comes to, branding corporate branding personal branding and even branding for non-profits and you've done very amazing work with even global clients and even locally here and so we've heard a lot of things about branding when you go online and you say personal branding there's a lot of things and by the end of the time you read you're just a bit confused you don't know whether branding is <laughs> posting picture you don't uh, even know whether yeah. branding is we don't even know whether <laughs> branding <laughs> is um creating content in social yeah, media yeah. or it's just working on yourself yeah. first it's just a lot <laughs> so can you tell us what is branding branding i love that question mm. okay branding mm. okay, let me start by saying this mm. People think that they are about to start creating a personal brand. Yeah. That is not true. Mm. Everyone already has a personal brand already. Yeah. Mm. When your name is being mentioned, yeah. the perception people have about you, mm. your product or whatever it is, mm. has been how you have successfully, consciously or unconsciously branded yourself over time. Over time. I don't want to use too much uh, technicalities, Technology, right? Is, yeah. Branding is... Um, people's perception. Their perception people mm. has as a result of the reputation mm. they have built over time. Mm. Whether as an individual, mm. as a service, corporate product mm. or whatsoever, right? Mm. That is what branding is. Wow. So everyone already has a personal brand. Mm. When they call your name Leonard, whatever comes to people's mind, that is how you have branded yourself over time. Mm. Right? It's mm. already existing. Mm. Now, what is now personal branding? Mm. Personal branding is now the conscious process yeah. that you make mm. to promote or to sell a perception mm. to people. Mm. Now, they already have a perception, right? Yeah, but this is now you actively contributing to shaping the perception mm. that people have about you. you. You are promoting it. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, in the Bible, right, the story of how David was anointed by Samuel, yeah. right? One phrase that I love here yeah. is when God told Samuel, when he was trying to anoint others based yeah. on the look, yeah. God was like, don't look at the outward appearance. Yeah. Look at the heart. The heart. Now, that is God. That is not man being. Yeah. Man being looks at the outward appearance yeah. before you won't stand the chance to, to know what you have in your heart. What you think about hmm. Because there are so many successful, creative, amazing people mm. with amazing talents, personalities, potential, yeah. right? But they feel that, okay, because of this is who they are, yeah. there is no need to deliberately push that uh, perception to people. How powerful they are. And you will leave a loss on the table by mm. doing that. Mm. Because in the world that we are, I always say it, right? The loud novice. Mm. Would always do better at first than yeah. the silent experts. Mm. Branding. Mm. So you have a role to play mm. in pushing out mm. a perception to people mm. that this is me, this is who I am. Don't just leave it to their mind mm. to just 
imagine for you, mm. right? You have to push it out there. Mm. And that's why there are so many fraudsters because they know how this thing works. Yeah. So they push a false perception mm. and get people to fall into this that trap. Yeah. Because they know how this thing works, right? Yeah, yeah. But now imagine you pushing the right perception, yeah. the right narrative about you. About yourself. That's personal mm. branding. And mm. it's very important, very <laughs> vital. Mm. Every for a product, mm. for organization, mm. for a, a, an individual, mm. personal branding place, mm. or branding as a whole is a yeah. very vital role. Mm. Wow, and that speaks to corporate branding as well. Definitely. Wow. Okay, so so that's that, that's like a very concise definition of personal branding uh, or branding. Uh, I've, uh, I've I've heard for for from a while now, mm. and social media now we're living in a digital age. Your competitor self is not even the person next street or next block. Another continent. It's another <laughs> continent, literally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> literally, yeah. And and social media is such a very powerful tool. And um, I believe was it at least last two months, I, I I was very passive about what I put online. I just oh, does this thing matter? Let me just leave the social media thing. I'm not very interested. But I came I came across this, your Facebook page where you posted something about being intentional about um creating perception, perception you want people to have in you, directly impacting the perception you want people to have about you. And, I've that's sparked a fire in me that it's begin to take my LinkedIn and my Facebook page very you know, it'd be very difficult, but I try to stay consistent, putting in content and it has brought amazing people into my life, even opportunity. So how can somebody optimize their social media page with their content, their work, sharing their work in such a way that it gets a very um a positive outcome to them, maybe in terms of Maybe they want opportunity. Maybe they want to sell their product. How can they use social media as a tool to be able to get those opportunities to themselves? All right, social media. You know, we all know it. How it all began for socializing, right? Social. You post your family, post your post your dog, yeah, post your pet. <laughs> just share fun time yeah. out for moments. Mm. Over time, I've seen how it has evolved to. Business media, yeah. <laughs> business media, still the old name, social media. Yeah, the importance of social media can't yeah. be overemphasized. Yeah, go check the stats. The mm. average individual yeah. spends minimum of six hours. Six hours on social media. That's the average. That's the average. To some is nine hours. To some is ten hours. You see, if you combine and to prove it right, you could yeah. go to your social media apps, go to WhatsApp, go to Facebook, go to LinkedIn, yeah. Instagram. Just go to um the part the, the app that will show you how much time you are spent on the app on that day. Wow. You will be shocked. You could see four hours on WhatsApp, you could see two hours on Facebook. Mm. Cumulatively, you could see that you spent like seven hours mm. on social media screen time. This is huge. That is huge. <laughs> okay. More than half of the world population is on social media. Mm. So whatever you are doing out there that is not on the social media space, it's not a Gen Z stuff. Stop. It's not a Gen Alpha thing. It's not for millennials. Social yeah. media is, is the new media. Mm. It's the new world. That is where the world is. Yeah. Every business, every brand should be out there on social media promoting, doing something out there. Okay. So how do we get started is, the bloodline of personal branding or mm. brand as a whole social media is content, mm. right? Content is the raw materials that you use to create that perception mm. on the social media space. Mm. And social media is, have done excellently mm. in personal branding mm. because, you know, when it comes to branding, that is part of PR, going yeah. to media outlets, yeah. you know, billboards, yeah. newspapers and all that, yeah. right? Yeah. And not everyone has the time and even the resource for all that. Yeah, but social media is the cheapest mm. and most valuable asset yeah. when it comes to personal branding. Mm. Because from just your home, clicking, yes. posting, you are creating perception already. already yeah. So the first step is start by just being out there. Share your story. Mm. Share your story. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm someone who is very keen on excellence. Mm. But for a start, just start with wherever you, where are. you are. Whatever remain there. 
you, you get start. <laughs> yeah. So starting point is the main pros, right? Yeah. Just share your story. Don't be too careful because mm. I have some of my my students. Yeah. They'll be like, ah, sir, please, this post is okay. I want to post it. I will tell them, just post, post it. it yeah. After you have posted it, I will show you what went what you what did wrong. wrong yeah. Just start by posting. posting already. Just share your story the way mm. it is. Don't be mindful about the comments and likes for a mm. start. Yeah. Be out there. Make mm. videos. Post it. Mm. Share your thoughts patterns. Share mm. your story. It can be a fun time. Mm. Just share your lessons. Don't try to sound too intelligent yeah. for a start. Yeah. Just be you out there. Wow. When you start, uh, is a journey. Is not yeah. a destination. Yeah. All right. Personally, myself, I myself, yeah. even though I'm a coach in this area, yeah. I'm still evolving weekly well, when it comes to social media space. Yeah. But start by sharing your story. Yeah. Just well, be out there. This is a very very big one. So. For those of you who are saying, oh, I will not share my work. I will not, I don't want to post my business now. <laughs> yes. I want to have a very big camera, a, a lighting and a very five-star <laughs> environment. Yeah. Just start with what you have. Start with where you have and grow. And that is a very good thing about life. It's growth. You can grow, you can evolve over time. And so you watching, just start. Mm. Start sharing about your business. Start sharing about your an author. Start writing things. Start a blog post online and that's wonderful and that there's a lot to share honestly that's so this boys also down to yeah. you know to businesses because mm. there are a lot of business yeah. and brands out there yeah that are still doing the traditional yeah. method yeah all right the way of you know having to get clients offline and online and i was aware that the online space has a yeah. massive yeah pool of opportunities yeah. all right we've seen um certain businesses that were doing let's say a, a turnover of probably um five thousand dollars monthly yeah okay yeah. but with the media space the the 10x wow their okay. results with the media space wow through funnels ads so many tools online yeah. okay so any business even though they have a strong client base offline, yeah. that is not leveraging the social, social media, media space, space in a short while hmm. or in the, in the mid run, hmm. they will pay the price for it. Yeah. I've even seen um, e commerce platforms, people that just are selling stuff online and their revenue cannot even be compared with someone Massive. who has a shop and a spending shop. a lot of money. They're just paying because of secretary, social media, paying secretary and all paying that. rent and all that. It's not. Volume of their orders are, comes from social media. I know, I know various business people like that, and and it's just amazing how powerful the word has become and how easy you can just scale and grow your business just utilizing that page. Mm -hmm. So Daniel, if some someone now wants to learn more from you, probably how can they find you? Maybe I want to learn about personal branding. I want, I want your agency to probably help me on this. Put me through, give me a clarity session and all that. How can we find you? All right, thank you. Um, okay, on social media, um, Daniel Kafo, but we are so many online. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Kafo, Brand yeah. Media, yeah. Brand Doc Cell Media, mm. or Physicians Club. You yeah. will see my outlet yeah, out there. Yeah. Uh, so, to help personal brands, mm. I've compiled a book I titled Social Media Optimization. And it's not just a book, mm. all right, it's a compilation of different strategies mm. to put you out there. Yeah. We have the challenge, the uh, 30 days challenge, mm -hmm. where you are accountable every day for posting. Wow. Because some people wouldn't want to post, but they don't know what to post. Yeah. So what to post and the push yeah. to post that, right, yeah. is giving out there. Yeah. We also have, and to show you how you can find your niche, the yeah. book, how you can, you know, create content and yeah. you know that. Sure. Now for, the part for corporate brands. Yeah. That is where brand Excel media comes, comes in, in corporately. Any level where you are in, in, the, in the business, right? Yeah. Either you are as a startup or yeah. you have a lot of experience or you're already our next part already yeah. in the industry, yeah. right? Industry, yeah. We help you from your level to achieve your goals. Yeah. So most business goals is sales. Yeah. As it sales. I it took me time to learn that yeah. businesses goals is I to make see. sales online. Yeah. Sales is the bedrock for every business. Yeah. Okay. So social media is one of my amazing tools that will help them to 10x the revenue, their yeah. sales. All right. Then to have that to put the right picture yeah. out there, the yeah. branding, logos, yeah. and all that come secondary. Yeah. But we have corporate brands to yeah. push the brands out there yeah. and to get more results. That's where Pandosia Media comes, comes in. in. Okay, so you could just go online, search brand Excel, 
and um, Fronesis, Daniel Carfor to just find <laughs> out more yeah. about his amazing work. So we've come to an end of this very, very, very amazing episode. And I believe it was very insightful and you learned a lot because I did. And um, until next time we come your way, keep knowing that you are able to defy all odds. That people who are successful, people who you admire, they are ordinary people like you. But the difference is they were intentional and consistent in developing themselves and working towards their goal every day. Subscribe to our channel, share this video, and until next time, see you. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>